Hey y'all, welcome back to Bourbon on the Brain. And today we're gonna to be doing a review on the Bardstown Bourbon Company Origin Series, which is a weeded bourbon. So go ahead and give y'all a quick look at it. Their signature bottle design, which I really like, with their embossed lid, cork which is a really nice look, really clean finish. I thoroughly enjoy it. So we're gonna go ahead and give it a try. I got this from my local pavilions. They had it for about $55. You can actually get it directly from their website for about $45, I believe it's $44.99. For me, with shipping all the way to Los Angeles, it's easier just to pick it up at the market, pay that a little bit of extra money, and go ahead and grab it from there. But if you are local or don't mind paying the shipping, can't get it for whatever reason, you can go directly to their website and they have it available. So I'm gonna read you a little bit about the bourbon from them and then we'll see what I think. So they describe it as an exquisite high rye bourbon with extraordinary flavor. The bourbon is a 36% high rye mash bill, which showcases the best of classic bourbon with a burst of rye spice perfect as a unique pour or the foundation of a premium cocktail. And the tasting notes are as follows. A beautiful balancing blend of apricot, orange blossom, and mint rests on a caramel nutmeg and rich oak. On the palate, waves of cinnamon and vanilla lead to a bold signature lasting finish. Now this is a six year bourbon. Um, the mash bill is a 60% corn, 36% rye, and a 4% malted barley. Now, one of the things that I like about this is uh, Bartstown, has had bourbons in the past where they have released them that they don't distill their own bourbon. Sometimes they'll take it from Dickel, which is an Indiana-based uh, distillery. Um, this origin series is their own. They distilled it themselves, aged it themselves for six years, um, and I really enjoy that. So we'll go ahead and give it a little bit of a swirl, see what tasting notes we can pull from it. Let it sit for a second, and while we let it for, sit for a second, the other really nice thing that I like about uh, Bardstown is just their bottle design. I mean, it's just such a classic bottle design. You know exactly who it is just by looking at it. There's no confusion, and it's just, it's a clean, sleek bottle design, and for me, I really appreciate that. So, go ahead and give it a little nose. You know, the first thing that I actually get pretty surprisingly is like a cherry smell. Yeah, like a, like a baked cherry or not, not like a cough syrup kind of cherry, but like a true, like almost like a cherry candy. It's really pleasant. Definitely a high rye. For sure, for sure, definitely a high rye. You get that, you get that rye spice right up front which I enjoy. It's buttery smooth. It's got that signature Bardstown taste, which if you know, you know. It's really hard to describe what exactly that taste is, but it's uniquely their own and it's instantly identifiable. You get a little bit of that cherry for sure. It's not a particularly long finish. You can feel like a small burn in the, in kind of like the pit of your chest but it, it evaporates fairly quickly. It's really pretty smooth. Um, I enjoy it a lot. You know, I, I think with these kinds of bourbons, these high rise, the, it's a little bit of a difficult thing to contextualize just because not everybody likes rye. But if you're trying to get into rye and don't really know where to start and don't really want to dive head first into it, this is a really good first option because it's not technically a rye, but it is a high rye. So I would definitely recommend that. You know, it's it's good. I really like it. I'm a big fan of Bardstown and this really does the job. It's, it's a really good quality bourbon and I think it packs a punch way above the price of $45, $55. I would, I could easily see somebody spending 75, 80, $90 on this bottle and be perfectly content doing so. So as always, enjoy, drink safely, 
and we'll catch you next time.